Welcome back guys, in this video I will be highlighting the performance of Resident Evil 4 Remake running on my ROG Ally that has Windows 11 and Steam Deck that has SteamOS. This game only supports FSR upscaler, it does not support upscalers like DLSS and XCSS. But using RE Framework mod, we can use both of these upscalers in this game. DLSS will only work on RTX GPUs, on ROG Ally and Steam Deck, we can use XCSS upscaler. FSR upscaler in this game produces a lot of texture shimmering around the trees and vegetation, even around fine textures like the fences. Even with FSR's quality preset, the image quality in this game look a bit soft. So first I'll show you how to install XSS upscaler. I'll kick things off with ROG Ally. Just need to download the correct build of RE framework which is compatible with the latest version of the game. I'll be using this build, 1051. You can download it from RE framework's github page need to have a free github account in order to download any stuff from here. I will give the link to this site in the description of the video. Scroll down until you find RE4. Just click on the download icon next to it. Download will start. Then we need to download upscaler base plugin from Nexus Mods. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Just click on files here. Don't download the latest version of upscaler base plugin. It will not work with RE framework. You need to download version 1.1.2 Click on manual download here Now click on slow download Download will start Last but not least we have XCSS upscalers files I will give the google drive link in the description of the video Just click on the download icon here Download will start Now open file explorer go to downloads Here you will find all of the files that you downloaded earlier Just open RE framework's archive file There it is Open re4.zip file again you need to copy this dll file the input date need to paste the file in the games install directory select the game in your steam library right click manage click on browse local files paste the dll file here now open upscaler base plugin archive file open upscaler base plugin folder copy this dll file need to paste it in the games install directory right here now open xcss archive file select all of the files present inside this archive file copy paste them in the games install directory right here that's it now we should be able to enable XSS upscaler via RE Frameworks menu. For this game, I have set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. My ally is running on BIOS version 441. I have installed AMD's GPU driver adrenal edition version 24.12.1. Using a 30 watts manual profile, all three power values are at 30 watts. 900p resolution, CPU boost disabled. Connected my 8 bit to Ultimate 2C wireless controller to ally via 2.4 GHz wireless mode. Adrenaline settings for the game. Vsync enable, Vsync disable, AFMF2 disable for the time being, I will enable it, but first let's just test again without it. At launch you will see RE frameworks menu like this, it's initializing, wait for the settings to pop up, there you go. Now just expand temporal upscaler section, XSS upscaler is mentioned here, it's working. Can change its preset from here. I'll select quality. Stick with the default settings here. I'll disable XCSS for the time being. First, show you FSR upscaler. Uncheck the setting enabled. It's disabled now. You can toggle RE Frameworks menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. In game graphics settings, first I'll run the game at 720p resolution. When there are a lot of non-playable characters on the screen, the game becomes heavier on the CPU than the GPU. On Ally, I would recommend running the game at 900p resolution. Display mode full screen, uncap the FPS. I'll select balance preset. FSR2 upscaler set to quality. Disable a few post processing effects like bloom motion blur 
lens flare and lens distortion that's it use internal lens overlay to show you the performance metrics there's Leon I'm standing at the entrance of village square we'll be fighting against hordes of villages yeah there is some texture shimmering going on around the tree branches you may not be able to see this on a less small display I can understand I highlighted this on my PC desktop monitor my PC has an RTX GPU so I use TLSS upscale all thanks to RE framework in the far off background I can observe some texture shimmering going on around the trees FPS here is close to 50 just look at the GPU utilization not even 90% so CPU is the problem here I'll just switch to XCSS upscaler press the insert keyboard key expand temporal upscaler check this box enable sharpness level I'll just set it to 0 0.4 close to it XCSS using its quality preset now you need to disable FSR upscaler from the in-game settings otherwise the image quality will look very blurry in the menu text will still look blurry when you are using XCSS back to the game and check out the image quality now this is amazing it's looking so sharp even when the resolution is set at 720p resolution it's almost as if I change the game's resolution to 900p texture shimmering has stopped now in the background the tree branches this is just insane I'll just barge in run around like a madman can't save the cop burn never alive yeah 46 fps not hitting the GPU bottleneck so I'll just switch to 900p resolution now no point in the game at 720p resolution here change the resolution to 900p look at the full screen text not rendered properly it's due to RE framework reload the same point and yeah, now we are hitting the GPU bottleneck FPS is around 44 barge in 46 FPS the image quality is looking so sharp this is amazing just run around what I am going to do is enable AFMF2 here should increase the FPS to um, 75, 80 VRAM usage is close to 5.5 GB open internal lens settings from here enable AFMF2 frame generation status active search mode high this prevents frame generation from getting disabled during fast visual motion performance mode quality apply a 60 fps cap as well using radiant chill set idle fps and peak fps value to 60 we sync off back to the game yeah fps increased to around 80 this is amazing look at the smoothness works very nicely in resident evil 4 but it's not perfect i'll show you its limitations <laughs> let me show you the graphical artifacts of EFMM2 observe the crosshair and I am moving it some ghosting effect is produced around it nothing extreme but it's definitely present smoothing effect of EFMM2 works very nicely in this game oh my god first aid spray I'll also test separate ways in this game when we use a sniper rifle scope massive FPS drop occurs game becomes very heavy on the GPU otherwise expect the performance to be within a range of 70 to 80 on ROG LA during intense combat sequences like this
I'll test separate ways. They have said, I am standing on the rooftops of a castle. Here FPS is close to 90. The game is running so smoothly. I have equipped my sniper rifle. Use its scope. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. 90 FPS without scope. And with the scope equipped, FPS dropped to around 65. Not sure why the scope mode is so demanding. It's very heavy on the GPU. But the game is still running smoothly. It's just that a massive FPS drop occurs when we equip a sniper rifle scope. So now I'll test the game on Steam Deck. This is Steam OS running in desktop mode. First I'll download the required files. RE Frameworks build 1051. Just make sure you're signed to your GitHub account. Otherwise you won't be able to download this build. Click on the download icon next to RE4. Download upscaler based plugin from Nexus Mods. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Need to download this version of upscaler based plugin 1.1.2. Don't download its latest version. It won't work. Expand it. Click on manual download. Then click on slow download. Download XCSS upscalers files from Google Drive. I'll give its link in the description. Click on the download icon here. Open Dolphin File Explorer. Go to Downloads. Here you will find all of the files that you downloaded earlier. I have transferred them to different directories. It does not matter. First open RE Framework's archive file. There it is. Just open this re4.zip file. You need to extract this DLL file. De input it. Just drag and drop it outside of these archive windows like this. There's the file. Copy it. Paste it in the games install directory. Select RE4. In your Steam library, right click, manage. Click on browse local files. This is the games install directory. Paste the DLL file here. Now open upscaler base plugins archive file. Extract this DLL file. PD, PERF plugin. Drag and drop it outside of this archive window. Copy it. Paste it in the games install directory. Right here. Now extract the contents of XCSS archive file. Open the archive file. Select all the files present inside this archive file. Drag and drop them outside of this archive window. Select all of the extracted files. Copy. And just paste them in the games install directory. Right here. Now we need to add a launch option to the game. Select the game in your Steam library. Click on the settings cog here. Click on properties. Click on general under launch options. Add this line of text. I'll provide it in the description of the video. You can copy it from there and paste it here. Compatibility. I'm using G Proton version 9-23. We are ready to run the game. I'll switch to SteamOS gaming mode. You can enable RE Frameworks menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. If you don't have a keyboard, you can map insert key to any of Steam Deck's back grip buttons. The process is very simple. Just click on the controller icon here. Select Steam Deck controller or whichever controller you are using. I'll just map insert key to L4 back grip button. Just click on the rectangular bar next to L4. Click on keyboard here. My bad, you need to click on numpad. From here, select insert. There it is has been mapped. This game is marked as Steam Deck verified. I own the LCD variant of Steam Deck. RE framework worked. It's initializing. Initialized. Now just expand temporal upscaler section. Make sure it's enabled. Upscaler set to XSS. I'll use its quality preset. Increase the sharpness level. 0.447 it's up to you the rest of the settings are left as this press steam deck l4 back grip button close the menu i own the lcd variant of steam deck its display supports up to 60 hz refresh rate performance qm settings only level set to 3 frame limit set to 60 that's it re framework subscaler makes the menu text look a bit soft preset balance 
uncap the FPS cinematic resolution full HD make sure FSR 2 upscaler is disabled when you are using RE frameworks upscaler otherwise image quality will look very blurry disable post processing effects like bloom motion blur lens distortion lens flares and that's it there's Leon yeah the image quality is looking so sharp no texture shimmering even on steam deck XSS upscaler works very nicely FPS is within a range of 30 to 40 this particular area is very demanding we are hitting the GP bottleneck just run around the burn fog let these guys chase me for a more stable experience you can apply a 30 fps cap no hitching at all even on steam deck and the graphics look absolutely gorgeous to reduce the gp load you can set the upscale to even balance using its quality preset still fps stayed above 30 Now I'll use a different graphical preset. Switch to prioritize performance. FSR 2 upscaler off. Post processing effects disabled. Motion blur off. And that's it. Same sequence. Prioritize performance preset didn't help much in improving the performance. 37 FPS gained about 4 to 5 FPS compared to the balance preset. It's up to you. I'll test the game and another sequence separate ways on the castle there's Ada on the rooftops we are getting close to 40 fps almost hitting the GV bottleneck here using the prioritize performance preset with XSS preset set to quality just use my rifle scope yeah fps dropped to around 29 25 24 ok I'll just switch to XCSS upscalers balance preset open the menu preset set to balance close the menu back to the game didn't help much in improving the performance in the scope mode we are still getting close to 24 fps not hitting the gp bottleneck so cpu seems to be the limiting factor here not a big deal 24-25 fps so that's it for the video guys i hope you found it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day